Hello everyone, this is Global Warming Skeptic here to bring you the introduction to a new series I am doing called War on Progressivism. And I say progressivism in quotes in the title of this video for a very specific reason. Progressives are not progressive. They are going back to old, rehashed, historical narratives that have created totalitarian regimes and have called national, caused national collapses in the past. Now, let me explain why I am doing this and how I am going to go about it. This series is going to highlight the hypocrisy, the regressivism, we'll go into some history, and yes, we are even going to attack specific YouTube channels, Twitter accounts, and even some news outlets if we have to. So, here's the whole thing, and this is why this needs to be done, and why people more popular than me need to get on this bandwagon. We are under relentless attack as a country in the United States from a group of people who cares nothing except for about increasing their membership. And they have largely succeeded. If you look at the number of personalities that express progressive views and the number of personalities that express conservative views, the conservative views are dying out. If you look at, say, for example, the number of channels, people on the internet, people who follow these channels who support Bernie Sanders, for example, you will very seldom hear any opinions, even on the other Democratic side from Hillary Clinton. It is very difficult to find Hillary supporters who are willing to speak out. Maybe a few on Twitter, but you're not going to get much more than that. I don't even see them in YouTube comment sections, and I frequent progressive channels, and this is, it's getting to the point that there's no alternative media reporting. See, we have an alternative media. The alternative media is supposed to provide some kind of different non-establishment narrative from the mainstream media. That's the theory, anyhow. But here's the problem with alternative media. It has become so skewed to one specific set of core ideas and others being attacked if they stray from those ideas. What happens is everybody just supports the same thing, and with that bias in mind, you get unneutral reporting. Now, you're going to hear people such as the Young Turks say, well, hey, neutral reporting is bad because it gives two sides equal opportunity when one side is right and the other side is wrong. And to that I say, go to North Korea. Go to any totalitarian regime that monitors their press and who forces them to take the a particular opinion. For example, the opinion of the state. And the state is always right, and because it is right, that must be the framework that is reported from. That's not what news is about. News isn't about right or wrong, it is about information. Information given with spin is what creates political divides that do not need to be there. It is what it is what happens when you get out of reality and you step into ideological theory that often does not work. As media outlets, people need to start embracing neutrality. Not saying what they are for, what they are against, who they are for, who they are against. 
I grew up with a much more neutral media. It still had a slant, but it wasn't it wasn't to the point where you have media outlets just um, doing it without saying it, embracing a political ideology. And this especially needs to happen with alternative media. Because mainstream media, you know they're going to be concerned with popular candidates, establishment, because that's what's going to get them ratings. Television ratings are very different than YouTube views. It just it works different. You, you don't click on a commercial, you watch it. But here's, here's my point. The alternative media needs to embrace neutrality. And that is why... Until I see neutrality from the alternative media, and here are some names for you, Secular Talk, Sane Progressive, Humanist Report, The Young Turks, Jimmy Dore, and anybody else who embraces this progressive agenda, because that's where it's coming from. You have some conservatives, but it's almost all coming from progressives, and I'm going to be the counter voice. I am going to war with you channels. That means you're going to all be exposed. It's not just the Young Turks anymore. If you express a progressive opinion and you post it on YouTube, I will attack you you mark my words you will be attacked anything is open character attacks if I have to do them I will and especially attacks against your nonsense arguments because let me tell you a little bit about progressivism in general and this is when the gauntlet gets thrown down Progressivism is about going back to the ideas of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR. Those ideas caused the country, and I don't know how many people know this, but there were very many New Deal policies that were rejected by the U.S. Supreme Court as unconstitutional overreaches of authority. FDR had more executive orders just by number than any president in history. That's not even going into his executive overreach, which is a different subject. And so you have FDR trying to make this nation a communist nation. It caused us 10 years of depression, 10 years of double-digit unemployment, all the way up until just before 1942, I believe. Or it was just before 1943. So, what do we get from that? The progressive policies of FDR did not help. Most of them were repealed. The few that were retained, such as Medicare, Social Security, and... Um, Medicare, Social Security, and there's others too, but... The point I'm making is that most of his stuff was repealed, and that's what allowed the country to somewhat get moving again. But, and I wish I had the charts to show you right now, but I don't have them immediately available. But if you look at GDP growth by year in the United States, you will see that we were growing at double digit percentages all the way up until the 1950s, excluding the Great Depression. We were growing at double-digit percentages, and then all of a sudden, after the Great Depression, all these New Deal policies, we started growing at only 5%, 5 to 10% usually, with some breaks in between but we were not growing we have not grown significantly as a country in about 70 years 
That is a long time without growth. And yes, even during Ronald Reagan. Let me tell you what's happened during that time. During that time, we've had expansions of every single government program in every single area, welfare, education, health care, and nothing has improved. That's right, your progressive agenda brought us from number one in education in 1960, listen to the Nixon versus Kennedy debate, number one in education, to now we're being quoted as number 30 out of 30 OPEC nations in education. During that time, the United States, since sometime in the 90s, has increased education spending by 25% when you account for inflation. 25%. We increase the cost, we decrease the effectiveness. And you young progressives, you're testing lower than my generation, my parents' generation, my grandparents' generation. So, for all your intellectual snubbing at everything, tell me where it's gotten you. You people 18 to 25, where's it gotten you? You're testing lower than anybody in our history since we've been doing international testing. Anybody in history, how does that make you feel? With your common core, with all your progressive agendas and all that. 30th out of 30 is what you're testing. You're an embarrassment to our generation. You're an embarrassment to my parents' generation. And so, you're going to come at me and say, we need to educate the people by giving college away for free. I'm sorry. I don't feel like giving free education to a bunch of drunk kids who won't use it. And just so you know... I was a victim of that. Not the drunk part, but there was a time where I was too immature and I did not belong in school. And sad thing is, I'm not the only one. There's about half of people drop out before they get any kind of degree. Half of the people. That's a lot of loan money. That's a lot of grant money. And yeah, we may make a slight profit on grants, but don't forget we're also giving out Pell Grants. We're giving out other aid. Folk rehab, all that. It, it doesn't work. You're not going to improve it by giving it to everybody. You progressives need to understand that it's not all about handouts. Anyhow, I'm not going to go too far into it. We're going to get into some numbers later on. We're going to get into some history. And it's like I said, this is a war. So there will be people attacked. <coughs> Thanks for listening. God bless.